Hey guys, just wanted to do you guys a reading for Sagittarius season, what's to come, what we can look forward to. I feel like, you know, we've just had this changing of seasons, it's been a bit dark and Scorpio season, so we can get in ourselves, in our heads, so I wanted to maybe have something for us to look forward to. First card that jumped out, getting to know each other. So I feel like we'll be getting to know new people during Sagittarius season here. Let's see. <clears throat> it is safe for you to love. I feel like, you know, having gone through Scorpio season, you know, the dark, I feel like some of you will be wanting to break free, meet new people, very flirty and fun and, you know, it's good to get to know each other. I feel like it's party season for you guys. Like you'll be really enjoying it and feeling like you're opening your heart again to love, to giving and receiving. Remember to receive as well. Be open to receiving. Let your friends help you. Spending time with friends. Like I said, real party season coming up. Um, being very sociable when you haven't been during Scorpio season or up to now, I feel you'd be more open to getting out. A change of scenery will be just as important as the rest and calling in your soulmate. So like I said, meeting new people is a good time now in Sagittarius season um, to, you know, really put yourself out there. Um, if you want to meet somebody new, um, <clears throat> You do need to get out there. You do. Like, how else are you going to do it? Two of Wands. You're now open to it. Deciding to get back to life. Get back to you. Like, this looks like, look, I was waiting for the past here. She's looking backwards. But new doors are opening to you here. She's smiling as well as, like, reminiscing here. It's like, don't look back in anger. Keep it moving forward, guys. If the past is meant to be, it'll catch you up, right? So she's holding a globe in her hand as well. Um, so I feel like, you know, your world will be opening up new possibilities, new paths to take. Wonderful. The sun, you'll start to feel much better, much happier. Um, like I said, coming out of Scorpio season, they're feeling renewed. You know, we go through... Um, that period of death, but with death also comes rebirth, okay? So the sun, healing, seeing how far you've come, um, feeling much lighter I'm getting, much more positivity coming your way. You know, get out with friends. It doesn't have to be something romantic. Get out with friends. Get out for exercise. It's going to feel so much better. Chariot, taking a new approach. Um, looking at life a lot differently here from a healed perspective, okay? Having learned your lesson, um, you know, and it coming to an end, um, things like leaving your life here. This is the new stuff coming in now, okay, with the two of wands. New stuff coming in, the new positive changes coming in. So you may have found um yourself quite lonely in Libra season and as we moved into Scorpio season it seems like he was letting go of more things and you're like well this isn't an improvement you know um but it actually is you have to let go of what's not serving you in order for this new stuff to come in okay with the sun clarity comes in okay a change of direction comes in a very successful one with a chariot um, finding your life path at this time, you know, because it's um, Sagittarius is all about the higher learning. Quite a lucky time as well. So things um, that may have seemed like they was going off course with the two of wands seem to magically get back on track with um, the chariot. You start to feel like, right, I'm on the right track now. I'm going down the right way here. The world, what did I say? You're holding the world in your hand here. You know, things coming to an end, but also when these things come to an end, new things begin, okay? So you're opening up the door for new positive friends, new positive people, new positive job aspects here, okay? 
it's a wonderful time to, you know, bring in the new now, okay? Scorpio season is about closing down, um, bringing things coming to an end. But look at this. Always, always this card reminds me of the phoenix rising. And that's you guys now coming out the, of the darkness, coming into the light, getting your clarity, getting your answers here, I feel, okay? Um, Sagittarius wants to give you the answers, okay? And this is the world, new beginnings, okay? You know, some of you are still holding on to this hope here for the past, holding the door open to the past. Um, but you get more clarity on that, okay? That although you may be holding the door open, it doesn't have to stop your life, doesn't have to stop you. You can still have these happy times, these positivity and this forward movement, okay? So you may have been feeling um, a little bit dark and depressed and a um, bit of an introvert within yourself here, but new doors are opening up, new possibilities, even to travel with the two of wands and the world here and the chariot. Yeah, some of you will be traveling to maybe warmer places, okay, or having the opportunity to. The star, wonderful, three, four major are kind of straight after each other. So like I say, you know, um, good things opening up for you in Sagittarius season, okay? Um, wishes being granted, being healed in this time, okay, with the star card and the sun. This is major healing. So um, you could find that in this time that, you know, you get a lot of healing done in this time. Looking forward, the chariot, you know, follows the star, goes towards the star. So like I said, we had the chariot, the world. Now it's like going towards your future with a brightness, with things in mind, with a goal, you know. So setting yourself goals at this time will be really good for you. They will, um, you will be victorious over them, okay. So where you set your intention, your desires at this time, um, will be really good for you, okay? Um, they will come to fruition. So, um, you know, make plans for the future here. The two of wands, making plans for the future. Things will go in the right direction for you here. With the star here, I feel like you find out some good news as well, okay? Things that you're looking forward to. Nine of Pentacles could be to do with work, starting your own business, something creative. Um, but you see, looking back here, that, you know, how much you've grown, how far you've come. Be more self-sufficient, more dependent on you for your happiness. So getting away from that codependency, having to, you know, oh, I need to be in a relationship to be happy or things like that. You know, really stepping away and letting go of that. Um, is really, you're feeling good in this time, okay? Very fun, independent, flirty, ready to take on the new. Good money. So maybe you're um, spending a lot of money on clothes or on yourself here, or even on travel, like I say. It's my ex. <laughs> Seen his name pop up. Okay. Um, so page of pentacles. Look at this. Planting seeds for your future. Okay. Wonderful time. The page of pentacles is about these new beginnings, learning new things, even going back to school here. Maybe some of you need to find the money to go back to school. And that's what you can do now. If you put your attention to it, that's what you can do. Wonderful things will be planted for your future. You know, words like karma or we reap what we sow. So good things because your karma will be good things, okay? Now's a wonderful time to start planting. I did a video a few weeks back about, um, you know, being thankful and what we want to plant next. So I'll try and repost it or put the link in the description box to this just in case you didn't see it. But it's a great video, okay? Because it's about, you know, when farmers will plant the seeds, and, you know, then it, when it's time to harvest, okay, so now's a good time for planting these seeds with the page of um, pentacles here, okay? And remember, the day we plant the seed is not the day we eat the fruit. So you're not going to say, 
okay, today I'm manifesting, you know, a million pounds. And when it doesn't appear immediately, start to feel down. No, you know, good time to plan, okay? Good time to plan for your future here. The world card, looking forward, looking at the long term, good money investments, um, success, even buying a new car here with the chariot. But it's a good time for you guys to start planning, looking towards the future with the star card here. So seven of pentacles, four of wands. OK, so when I was talking about um, the seven of pentacles, that's something that's not growing. OK, so you may feel like, you know, um, maybe the fact that my ex just text was you know, meant to happen here and you're not seeing that these offers are coming, okay? So you feel like, well, it's no use. Every time I plant something, nothing comes to fruition anyway. And that's what I mean about the day we plant is not the day that we eat the fruit, okay? The day we plant, um, we're setting our intentions, knowing our desires, Maybe you can't see it yet with this four of wands, what's coming, because, you know, a, when you plant something, it has to be watered, it has to be nurtured. So you have to follow through with um, your desires, your intentions, what you want to come to fruition. So, for example, um, when I started YouTube, I wasn't thinking, okay, the day I start it is the day I'm going to see a million subscribers. I'm not even there yet, but I still have to keep putting in the work in, right? So that's what I want you guys to do. Plant the seeds, okay? While you're feeling good, plant the seeds, you know, make your wishes if that's how you want to see it um, with an eye on the long term and it's coming, okay? For some of you, it's on the calling in your soulmate card. So it will be a person that you are maybe planting the seeds, trying to manifest into your life here and you can't see the offer yet because maybe they haven't been speaking to you with the seven of pentacles. But here with this seven of pentacles, um, you're stopping yourself, you're holding yourself back. You don't, you know, decide that okay the seed i'm planting is that i'm waiting for my ex to text you keep it moving and say you know when they want to catch me up they'll catch me up but for me i'm keeping it moving you know i'm going to keep on with the growing keep on with the money making here and that's what you want to turn your focus to during sagittarius season okay don't get like this this seems to be sort of energy where you are feeling a bit introverted wanting to stick to yourself not maybe wanting to talk to people that's just as we come out of scorpio season okay wanting to keep yourself to yourself this light's going crazy i don't know it looks brighter every two minutes um so yeah you may be feeling like that um because of scorpio season making you an introvert wanting to keep things to yourself, you know, people say Scorpios are secretive, it's not that, they're just a bit, you know, introverted and keeping it to themselves, not wanting to speak to anybody, wanting to keep them thoughts to themselves here, as you can see, she has a wall over her head and over her throat, so not wanting to talk to people, not wanting to get out, switch that up guys okay brilliant time for it because you'll see the rewards you get from it you'll be able to meet new people for work connections new friendships you know where old friends have left your life now's the time to you know open up these doors open up this world because soulmates are friends you know family um as well as lovers here okay so this is what you know it's a great time to start meeting new people, getting out there, being fun, being flirty. And like I said, you may feel like, you know, a bit like this introverted. It's just the shadow season, um, you know, the shadow side of coming out of Scorpio season. I'm recording this during Scorpio season because um, I wanted you guys to get ahead of it. But so this may be why you're still feeling like this. But, you know, don't worry. That's all about to change. All this goodness is about to come in for you guys. And if you're worried that somebody still isn't talking to you, still isn't making offers to you, keep it moving. Get going. Keep it moving. You know what happens when you start moving? That person behind you starts moving too. 
and wants to catch up. So keep it moving. If you don't see the offer coming, you don't see them talking to you yet and you've waited, chariot, a new approach will bring success. Get your butt moving, they'll start chasing. Believe, I'll ignore this guy, he'll text me a million times. If I was texting him, I don't know, it's just how people are, isn't it? You know, we're funny creatures. It's just how people are. Meditation. It's about taking care of you now, okay? Doing those salt baths, doing those meditations. I posted a thing yesterday, like saying, let's drink water, let's get out more and see what happens even for 30 days. Take this time to think about you, okay? Loving you. And you'll send positive vibes out because you start to feel more happy, um, you know, more joyous. You know, you start sending out good vibes because you're raising your vibrations. If you're sat at home like this, what vibrations do you think you're sending out, you know, to the universe? It's quite confusing. Like, okay, are they happy to stay at home or do they want to get out? You know, go for a walk by yourself. I do. I post the pictures for you guys so I don't feel so alone. I'm always thinking, well, I'll tell my uh, subscribers about this. I'll, you know, I'll reach out to somebody about that. Just do it. You have nothing to lose, you know. But if you're so busy, make sure you find time for quiet time, okay? And let's get you guys an oracle card. I'm sorry, I haven't learned on angles and all those things but like those other YouTubers yet, but I will, I'm trying, I'm trying guys, <laughs> I'm trying, we'll get you guys an oracle card here, <clears throat> this one, my vibes speak louder than my words, right? I know, I always say it early and spoil everything. I'm the same with movies and things. So at the beginning of the movie, I'm always like, ah, oh, he did it. I'm, I'm awful, I spoil it for everybody. I know, my kids tell me. Good luck, guys. <laughs>